this brief tech in 10, we're going to look at the platform Kahoot. Kahoot is a website that you can use to create interactive quizzes for students to take, um, either in person or remotely. Um, Kahoot is free for a basic membership, and you can sign up with your Gmail account right on the website. In order to do that, go to kahoot.com and set up a free account. I already have my account, so I'm going to log in. Once you're logged into your account, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. Now the page tends to be a little busy, but for purposes of this, we're only going to take a look at a couple different things. That is finding different cahoots you can add to your account and creating your own. The first thing to, we want to do is go to Discover. And Discover is where you can find pre-made cahoots that you can use for your own use. Simply click the Discover tab. And then you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. Here you can search for anything. Let's type in life cycle. You'll be brought to any results with life cycle in it. You can search by different subjects and levels, more filters here, or if you want to find something that's relevant or most played or high quality, you can do that here as well. Once you find something that you might be interested in, simply click it. And you can preview it right here. If you like it, you can play it. Or you can edit anything you find for your own use as well. This will make more sense when we look at creation, but for purposes of this, I'm going to click Edit. You need to duplicate anything you want to edit, so duplicate a copy for yourself. And now this you can edit any way you'd like. Over here it shows all the slides, changes based on what you're on, so you could easily go in and edit different choices, and when you're done you simply select Done. You can test it, play it, or share it. I'm just going to hit Done again, and it's going to bring me back to my Cahoots. Now you'll see there's a duplicate of that that I own now that I can continue to edit or play. So for purposes of this quick tutorial, Discover tab you can find Cahoots that are already made, keep them as your own, or duplicate them and edit them. The nice thing is is the base is already there for you to use. Now Cahoots can be played from any device or tablet. They can also be created from an iPhone or an iPad as well. Now I want to go up to the Create tab because this is where the magic happens with Kahoot. If I go to Create, I can create from a template if there's a certain type of Kahoot I want to make, but for purposes of this I'm just simply going to go to Create, and you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. On the left hand side are all your slides. Each slide starts with a template that looks like this. You can add a question below that. Now for the free version, you're limited to true and false in the quiz, so we're going to stick to the quiz for now. And you'll notice it's the same template. It gives you a multiple choice type answers here, and a place to type your question and drop an image about the question. Let's start with what is the color of the cat. Now we can find images from the library built into Kahoot. We can upload our own images as well. You can also embed a YouTube link. We'll look at that in a little while. Let's go to their image library for this and let's go see if we can find a picture of a cat. Let's take that cat right there. Over here you can change how many seconds the students have to answer. How many points you want it to be worth if you wanted to do points. Single select for the free version. Then you could add your answers right down here. If it's a, the correct answer, make sure you hit the checkbox right next to it. And that's how you add a question. You can add another question as well. Let's just do one more. You don't need to add an image if you don't want to. Again, add your choices again. But 
check mark next to the correct answer, and then you're done. I can click done. I'm going to enter a title for this. And then I have my Kahoot made. I'm going to play this where you'll notice that there are some options. And the one option I want to draw your attention to is the nickname generator. This is a great option to use for our students that need to remain anonymous for privacy reasons. So make sure you choose on for name generator, nickname generator, and any activities that you're doing. Let's back out of here and go back to our main page. I'm going to exit that activity because I want to show you a couple other things. Let's edit this activity because it's kind of a working space for purposes of this video. We're going to add a new question. Say you were reading a story called The Old Lady Who Swallowed a Bat for Halloween. You could easily embed the YouTube link to the video right here. In order to do that, either have previously or find the video on YouTube. Welcome to Teacher Reads. Take the I link from the share menu. Today we have a special and paste it in here. If you have a video you only want to watch part of, you can also set those timers on the front and the back end of it and add the video. Remember before I said you can also add images as options. I have images on my computer already, so I'm going to find those. And I can repeat that over and over again. And these images were from a board maker. I'm going to select back because it's the correct answer. And I made my question. Now, just like before, we added text. Instead of adding an image prompt, we added a video from YouTube. Remember, you can also add an image here from their library or your computer. And then instead of text choices, we added picture choices. So it's another option to do. I hit done for that. And done again. So now we added another question to that using the YouTube image or YouTube video option and then images for choices for your answers. Now remember when I want to play this activity I click play and I have two choices. I can teach the activity so this would be live in a classroom where you see the questions on my device and then the students can respond on any device that they have or I can assign it or send the link or pin for self-paced learning so the students can do it on their own time. These are both great options for us to choose from. For purposes of this, I'm going to click Assign. I can make some dates and time options here. Remember the nickname generator, keep on. And if I hit Create, it brings me to my page where I get a link or a pin that I can send the student to enter at the web address listed and then they can play the game on their own time. This pin can be entered on Kahoot's website as well, kahoot.it if they don't want to have this whole URL. It's just a different means to the same end. Let's go back, and if I clicked play again, and I wanted to teach with it, I would do classic for my students in the classroom or in the virtual meet, and the nickname generator is on. And then in this option, they will see the answer choices on their screen and the questions on my screen. So those are two different ways you can play the games. So Kahoot is a great option to create free content, free interactive activities that you can do live in real time with students in person or virtually, as well as assign or give a link for a student to engage with on their own time. You can make quizzes using uh, multiple choice answers in the free version with images, um, uploaded from Kahoot or uploaded from your computer, you can also put in YouTube videos as well. When you use the random name generator, there are no accounts and no privacy needs, so this is perfect for you to use. There's a lot more to Kahoot if you're ever interested in learning about it, just let me know. But to get you started, I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.